Friday nights under the lights aren't over yet. Where our Cardinals are flying to next week and a recap of how they did last week. This time of year, an annual fundraiser will help students give back to our neighbors who are less fortunate. And DECA students are still selling Cardinal cards, but not for much longer. How you can get your hands on one before they're gone. DTV News starts right now. Our Davison Cardinals won the district title on Friday night and now have a shot at the regional championship. Good afternoon, Davison. I'm Rebecca Allen. And I'm Emily Ferrante. Tomorrow night, the Cardinals will put it all on the line as they take on the Utica Eisenhower Eagles out on the road at Brandon High School. And since it's expected to be such a big game, the stands are going to be packed. So make sure you buy your tickets ahead of time. You can purchase them in the athletic office for just $6. Last week, the Cardinals faced one of their biggest rivals and brought home a big championship win. Riley Wilcox joins us now from the sports desk with more. Riley? Thanks, ladies. Three weeks ago, the Davidson Cardinals took their second loss of the regular season to the Pier Lightning here at Cardinal Stadium. Last week, the Cardinals got their revenge on the Pier's home turf. Let's take a look at the highlights of round two of this intense rivalry. Quarterback Brendan Sullivan takes a look, decides to run it himself, slipping through two defenders and taking the ball 15 yards into the end zone, scoring Davison's first touchdown of the night and tying up the score 7-7. The Lightning tried to answer back but proved unsuccessful when senior Logan Pasco intercepts the football at the 40. Pasco would then run for a 27-yard touchdown that would put Davison up 14-7. The appeared Lightning closed in the gap and finished out the half 14-14. Now we've got Brendan Sullivan passing to a wide open Harrison Terry for a 73 yard touchdown, passing the, tw passing the 20, the 10, the 5 into the house to take Davison up 28 to 14 as they close the third quarter. Lapierre tried to take the lead once again but suffered from yet another Cardinal interception. This time it would be by sophomore Jalen Murray Flowers. He would then take it 70 yards for the last touchdown of the game. Davison finished out the game 42 to 21 brought home the district championship. Now with districts and Lapeer as things of the past, Coach Weingartz has his eyes set on regionals. This is the best part! We're not done! Hey, we come in Sunday! We come in Sunday at 5 o'clock like normal, yep. right? And we prep to win a regional freaking title! If you can't make it out to Brandon High School tomorrow, make sure to tune into our live coverage on our YouTube stream and Charter Channel 191. Thanks, Riley. The annual Cool to Care Can Drive is happening now through December 2nd. Students K-12 through in the district donate cans and money to Supply to Outreach East that works to help those in the area who are less fortunate. The district's goal is that each student can supply a minimum of two cans. Five pop cans equals one can, and 50 cents is also equivalent to one can if you decide not to donate canned food. It's time to help our neighbors in need. Marketing students have been selling the infamous Cardinal card to help everyone, including you, save money at local businesses while supporting the DECA program. The card includes deals offered only to cardholders at some of your favorite places. If you have yet to get one, hurry! Tomorrow is your last day to purchase one for just $10. Find a marketing student or see Mr. Ames to claim yours today. For any students who are looking to spice up their Davis and wardrobe, the Palm team is selling Pura Vita bracelets for only $5. But you only have until Monday to snag one. For any questions or to buy some, see any member of the team. Unfortunately for you Creative Writing Club members, your after-school meeting scheduled for today has been canceled. However, if you, are, if you are a part of the Ski Club, your meeting will still be today after school as scheduled. Be sure to meet in Miss Kelsey's room, room 258. Coming up in sports, Riley Wilcox has a lowdown on upcoming tryouts. And how our swim team finished this season. The Great Lakes, part of calling Michigan home. What happens when these natural resources are in danger? Coming soon to DTV News, a documentary on all of the problems happening in our Great Lakes and how we can fix them. Great Lakes, on the brink.
The girls swim team headed into SVL finals last Thursday and Saturday at Saginaw Valley State University and broke a few titles. Welcome back to the Sports Desk, I'm Riley Wilcox. Ten girls qualified for state finals with Lily Brown placing in the top eight and breaking her 50-yard free record for the fourth time this season. A rec the 200 record previously held by Lily Brown was broken by sophomore Grace Dorman. Great job, ladies, on a great season and to our record breakers, Lily Brown and Grace Dorman. If you are interested in basketball and think you have a shot at making the team, tryouts will be Monday the 18th after school and the DHS gym from 3 o'clock until 5.30. Wrestling tryouts are also going on on Monday from 4 o'clock to 6.30 in the wrestling room here at the high school. Anyone who is interested in bowling tryouts, they're going to be held at Rollaway Lanes. Show up at 2.45 on Monday after school if you're a girl looking to join. If you are trying out for the boys team, it will be held on Tuesday at 2.45 right after school. If you are a swimmer looking to join the boys school team, tryouts are being held next, not next Tuesday, but the one after that on the 25th. They will be hosted at Kersley High School if interested. The guidance office is here for those looking to earn those white cords through community service. There you can also sign up to participate in college visits, apply to local scholarships, and more. Head down to the guidance office to find all opportunities available to you and your peers. DTVnews.org is your one-stop shop for all things Davison. You can find the latest stories, newscasts, specials, and much more. Speaking of content, you can find more of it on our social media. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at DTV underscore official, our Facebook and YouTube DTV News to get the latest scores for, all, for the big matchup on Friday against Utica. There's only one more day left to vote on this week's DTV Choose. This time we're asking what, what, what your favorite Thanksgiving side is. Out of the four options, mashed potatoes are in the lead with 50% of the votes. And if you haven't cast your vote just yet, check out our Twitter to vote. Tune into a newscast tomorrow for the results. Tonight at 7, the DMS Orchestra will be taking the stage for all to hear in the auditorium. If you're unable to make it out to the school, DTV will be there, and you can watch it live on our Charter Channel 191 or on our YouTube, DTV News. So guys, I was so excited on Tuesday, our first snow day, but maybe a little a Just little a little early. too early. Yeah. I didn't think that it was going to happen just yet. I was like, maybe, but I, w I was not expecting it at all. But it was definitely nice. Mr. Baisdell makes his predictions, and he said we weren't going to have one tomorrow, or on Tuesday. So I didn't think we were going to have one either. <laughs> I'm Ryan Wilcox here with Rebecca Allen and Emily Ferrante. Have a great day, Dave.